You are watching Access LaPorte County, Channel 97. Coming up next is the April 18th, 2023 meeting of the Michigan City Finance Committee. You can find more information for this meeting by visiting www.accesslaportecounty.org. Good afternoon, good evening, and welcome to the Michigan City Finance Committee meeting. Today is April 18, 2023. The time now is 5.31 p.m. I'd like to start off um, with roll call. Committeeman Fitzpatrick. Present. Committeeman Paul Przebalinski. Committee woman Tillman, present. We have two in attendance. We do have a quorum. Moving on, the Michigan City Riverboat Boy Claims Docket for April 18th, 2023. Riverboat funds number 2235, $15,415.16. Riverboat EFT, fund number 2235, $0. Board Development EFT, fund number 2504, $0. Total claims, $15,415.16. Those claims are for Current Electric, Inc., $308.92. LaPorte Chrysler, Inc., $6,000. $435. Waymeyer APS Inc. doing business as Waymeyer, $8,671.24, totaling claims $15,415.16. Is there a motion on the table to approve? Motion to approve. Second. All those in favor? Acknowledged uh, by aye. Aye. Motion carries. Um, we also have an attendance controller Hoffmaster. Um, she will, if you would, step forward in regards to just touch bases on the Riverboat Board Development Purchase Orders for April 18, 2023. This is a recoup, a recap from the prior Finance Committee meeting on April 4th. Okay. <clears throat> yes, so these are the um, purchase orders for what was um, budgeted in the riverboat. Um, I, I'm, I'm trying to remember I, what they consisted of. Um, so it was... Um, As far as the totals? Oh, oh, you just want the totals? Or were you going to go as far as the um, the type or vendor description? Okay. Yeah, the, the riverboat total was 1,759,824.82. And the Boyd development total was 355,000. So I think the packet included all of the individual purchase orders? Yes, it does the purchase orders, the GL accounts, vendor description, and the individual amounts for those items. Mm -hmm. Are there any questions for Controller Hoffmaster from the committee? Midman Fitzpatrick? We're doing the um, purchase orders. We're just reviewing them as a recap from the prior month. We've already approved the claim. Oh, it was this. It was separate from that, from the Riverboat claims. 
Um, there are no other questions uh, from the committee. Thank you, um, Controller Hoffmaster. I would like to acknowledge the City of Michigan City Riverboat Statement of Cash Position, fiscal year to date, April 17, 2023, ending balance. $5,453,885.06. In regards to tonight city council meeting, there are a few things that is on um, ordinances that will be on second reading. And one of them is creating section 2-419 in the Michigan City uh, Municipal Code to establish criteria for utilization of public safety lit funds. And in this, um, I wanted to address or to bring to the committee's attention as well. Um, as you read through this, one of the uh, parts where it indicates, whereas the Common Council believes that it is in the best interest of the city and residents herein, that each year public safety lit revenue should be allocated each year as following. Number one, 60% 6, utilized for salaries, benefits, retirement, or pension funds, 30% to utilize for capital improvements and training, and 10% to be placed in a reserve for capital expenditures and improvements. So if we're looking at approximately um, $4,300,000 in of that from prior um, workshops that we've had. And Controller Hoffmaster, um, please feel free if I misspeak, um, just step up and, and correct that for me. Um, and these are just appro approximations. So if we have approximately 4300000 million in our lid, 25% of that is going to be used for pensions off the top. And with that being said, that means that's going to be about one million seventy-five thousand towards pension, and then leaving a balance of three million two hundred twenty-five thousand dollars, and thirty thirty-five percent of that is one million one hundred twenty-eight thousand seven hundred fifty dollars, and that's salaries, benefits, and retirement, and of. Uh, the balance, $2,096,250 at 30% um, for capital improvement and training, you're looking at an estimate of $628,875, leaving a remaining balance of approximately $1,467, I'm sorry, $1,467,375 with a 10%, which is for um, to, to be placed in the reserves for capital expenditures and improvements. And that 10% is 146,737, $146,737.50. Leaving a remaining balance of that 4.3 million of $1,320,000 $637.50. And of that, we have to remain, leave in that fund $500,000. So the reserves will also then have a balance off of that $4 million of $820,637.50. That's just an estimate off of that $4.3 million. And I just wanted to elaborate on that so that the public knows that what how that for 4.3 million, if this ordinance goes through, if they decide to do um, the second reading, third reading tonight, or if not, again, it's just approximation in regards to what the balances may be and what that would be going towards. Because that 60%, as I indicated, 25% of that 60% is 25% towards the pension, which will leave a remainder of 35% to be applied to a salaries, benefits, and retirement. Was there any discussion or questions in regards to that by the committee? Um, Madam Chair, um, I 
do think that uh, we need to be cautious about our spending. And I also think that the uh, amount of money that once people want to divide up in here, that we need to keep this as a flowing account, not that it's designated into these particular areas. I um, I think that personally, uh, the lit money was was promoted and sold as a device for retention and uh, recruitment. And I think that we should all, we should be focused on that and that the uh, also some of the money should be used for what they call uh, uh, capital improvement. But then on the other hand, we have a fund, a CC fund, that accumulates money and i think that that it's more to than just there's more to it than just putting this money and saying that we're going to have 800 500,000 or 1.3 million held over i think it's really important that we uh remember the intent of the lit money that's cor- that you know, and, and and i agree but that's based off of I understand this. You're co-sponsoring this, I know. this and that's what it says. I, I know. just broke it down just to give the public an idea of what that percentages would look like out of that four point three well, million. Well, I, I, I what I'm getting at, Madam Chair, is that I do have some problems with that this particular ordinance that's what i'm trying to state and i think that we shouldn't you know i'm going to voice my concerns at the council meeting and i don't i don't think it's a bad idea to try to uh hold on to money but i think that it's uh we we need to be looking at why the lit money was there in the first place and how it was uh came came about came to be and uh I also think that we need to examine how some of these people have used money from the lit and how they've, you know, we, we've had all these different things come in front of us out of the lit and that in the, in the future, we're going to have, I'm not saying right now, and I'm not saying next year, but I do know that at some point in time, we're going to need a, a big piece of equipment. So I'm not saying that it's all should be coming out of the lit, but a portion should. And uh, we also need to look at a portion um, coming out of other revenue sources so that people, we still have that money available to us. And also, that I'm going to voice my concerns tonight and at the council meeting about what's going on here with these leases on these lease uh, cars. I think that in the long run, we're losing money. Be, and I know that some people are big proponents of leasing, but here's what, I, here's what I want to say is that I think that you can hold a car for six years and still get enough value out of it to resell it or, or trade it in on vehicles that you don't have to keep leasing vehicles for three years because then like in this last go around with the uh durangos they spent over one hundred fifty thousand dollars on wrapping the cars other equipment for the cars decals for the cars and you know i mean i understand they got to have vehicles but i understand that we got to watch our money being spent that's the only that's the only big point that i'm trying to and and make. as far as the finance committee and i believe that's all of our objective here right. is to also always to continue to make sure that um we always monitor and make sure that we are spending based off of the needs of what the city actually need in order to carry out their daily tasks and duties and responsibilities 
And again, as you was mentioning regarding vehicles and a larger equipment that may be possibly coming down the pipeline, again, uh, we, we are soon approaching um, our budget year for 2024. And so I say this to all department heads, um, your letters will be forthcoming. And keep in mind, this is going to be the time and the opportunity for you to provide to the uh, finance committee the needs that you will need for your departments and truly write everything down and let us know what it is that you're needing. And when you have your meetings with the administration um, to address your concerns, why it's important for you to have these things. And then we go from there and we see how the budget looks and we see what we're working with, looking at our balances. One of the other things I just want to speak on, and then I'll wrap this up, and that is, you know, it was said that the city, when we all came in, that the city was um, in the red and that we were three million in the hole. And I would like to say from the committee men's that I sit amongst um, for the past two years, that for the past three years, that that had a lot to do with the way that we had to reassess the budget. And we will continue to do what is in the best interest um, for the city in regards to that, in the process of making sure that the departments have the required equipment um, and things that they need to run their departments. Is there any other comments or concerns from the committees? If there are none, are there any comments or concerns from the public or anyone online? No. If there is nothing else, is there a motion to adjourn? So moved. Thank you and have a good evening. Thank you.